dear friends welcome to this new session in this session we are going to solve lagrange's linear equation if the first order partial differential equation of the form capital p into small p capital q into q is equal to r where capital p q r are the functions of x y z then we say this is of lagrange linear equation to solve the problem we have to identify this capital p q r from the given question for example if will be given x square p y y square q is equal to z square then x square is capital p y square is capital q and z square is capital r we have to identify p q r and we have to write the auxiliary equation dx by capital p dy by capital q dz by capital r then using this relation i am going to find two solution that is u and v considering either 1 2 or 1 3 or 2 3 by integrating we will be getting u and v and the general solution for lagrange linear equation is f of u comma v equal to 0 or some book they will say phi of u comma v equal to 0 so so to solve the subsidiary equation we have two different methods method of grouping and method of multipliers in method of grouping we are going to group the variables if it is x and y x to one side and y to other side and we have to integrate it similarly if it has y and z group y to one side and z to the other side and integrate we will be getting u and v and we can write the general solution f of u comma v equal to 0 these are all some problems we are going to work out in this session in this session we are going to see problems on grouping in the next video part 2 we will be seeing problems on multiplier okay let us go into the problem so the given question is p x square plus q y square equal to z square this is of the form lagrange linear pde pp qq is equal to r first we have to identify my capital p capital q and capital r then we can proceed my capital p is x square capital q is y square capital r is z square then we are going to write the auxiliary equation or subsidiary equation to solve the problem now to find u and v we can consider any two of this so let us consider the first and second ratios in equation 2 we will be getting d x by x square equal to dy by y square similarly if you consider second and third ratio in equation 2 will be getting dy by y square is equal to dz by z square now we have to integrate this to find u integrating this we will be getting the answer x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 that is equal to y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 so we get minus 1 by x is equal to minus 1 by y plus c1 1 by y minus 1 by x is equal to c1 once i get the final simplified version let us consider this as u now u is over similarly we have to solve for v let us see the step by step procedure it is very similar to the first one when you simplify you will be getting 1 by z minus 1 by y equal to c2 let us take it as v therefore my general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0 that is f of 1 by y minus 1 by x comma 1 by z minus 1 by y equal to 0 this is my general solution okay next we solve a different problem only the capital p q r is changing here so let us consider the pde write down it is of the lagrange's form next we have to find p q r from the given question then the auxiliary equation is dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r we know capital p capital q capital r or and we can substitute here similarly now we can consider the ratios 1 and 2 2 and 3 and it is not necessary always we have to consider the ratios 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 you can even consider 1 2 and 1 3 so while you write this ratios 1 2 and 2 3 will be getting this now integrating this will be getting the answer u and v divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to y power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 constant c1 simplifying this will be getting 2 root x is equal to 2 root y plus c1 so 2 root x minus 2 root y is equal to c1 my final answer is root x minus root y is equal to c1 by 2 i can take this as u immediately and it is not unique always you can take c1 we can adjust the problem according to our need you see i am going to get 1 by 2 from this equation so instead of writing c1 even you can write this as 2c1 so it is easy for us to simplify plus 2c1 
2c1. So I can write root x minus root y is simply c1. Both methods are correct. Whatever you like, you can follow. In the similar way, I can find v. So the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. That is f of root x minus root y comma root y minus root z equal to 0. Next, we are going to solve an interesting problem. p tan x plus q tan y equal to tan z. This is of the Lagrange linear PDE. So we found capital P, capital Q, capital R. Now we are going to consider any two ratios from the auxiliary equation. I am considering 1, 2 and 2, 3. But there is a big problem. It will become cot x dx is equal to cot y dy. But I don't know the integration of cot x. We know only differentiation of tan x is secant square x. Differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x. How to crack this? Do you remember the classical formula which you study in your school? Integral in the denominator you have f of x. In the numerator you have f dash of x dx is equal to log f of x plus c. In this problem we are going to consider this as cos x by sin x dx is equal to cos y by sin y dy. So now we see differentiation of sin x is cos x. So I can write this as log sin x is equal to log sin y. Now I have to consider the constant. Remember guys, if you take a constant c1, if you multiply with 2 or you divide with 2 or you take log c1, whatever you do, still like new data is going to be a constant. So for simplification purpose, I am going to take the constant as log c1. Now log sin x minus log sin y is equal to log c1. We know log a minus log b is log a by b. So log sin x by sin y is equal to log c1. So I can easily cancel log on both sides. Immediately I will get u sin x by sin y equal to c1. Similarly, we can do for the second and third ratio and we will be getting the v here. So the general solution is f of u comma v that is f of sin x by sin y comma sin y by sin z equal to 0. Now let us go into one more problem. Because in the previous problems, we have the answer directly. We don't group anything. It was already grouped. So we need to solve or we need to see an example where the grouping happens manually. So let us consider this equation and it is of the Lagrange's form. We have capital P, capital Q, capital R. The auxiliary equation, we can write and substitute the value. Now, similarly, I can take ratio 1, 2 and ratio 2, 3. And remember students, I said it is need not to be always ratios 1, 2 and 2, 3. You can take any combination 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, whatever you want. Next, you see we have to rearrange this. I can cancel this z. Similarly, I can cancel this x from here and I will be getting dx by y is equal to dy by x. Now we have to group this. So cross multiplying we get x dx is equal to y dy. Integrating this, we will be getting x square by 2 is equal to y square by 2 plus c1. x square by 2 minus y square by 2 is equal to c1. When I take 2 to the other side, we will be getting x square minus y square is equal to 2c1. Immediately, I will write this as u. In the similar way, I can solve v. You see, either you can take the constant as c1 or you can take c1 by 2. Nothing wrong in it because c1 by 2. 2 is again a constant. So whatever the method you like, you use. Now we can find v. So the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. I am writing f of x square minus y square comma y square minus z square equal to 0. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hope you understand how to solve Lagrange's linear equation for method of grouping. Next one more simple problem I have to solve in method of grouping that is px plus qy equal to z. So here it is of the Lagrange linear equation for pp qq is equal to r where my capital p is x capital q is y capital r is z then my auxiliary equation is dx by capital p dy by capital q dz by capital r that is by dx by x is equal to dy by y is equal to dz by z now we are going to consider the ratios 1 and 2 2 and 3 or 1 and 3 whatever you like so for a change i'm going to consider first 1 2 and 1 3 so first and second ratio when I consider, I will be getting dx by x, dy by y. When I consider the first and third ratio, I will be getting dx by x, dz by z. 
when I integrate this, we'll be getting log x. We know integral dx by x is log x is equal to log y. For my convenience, I am taking the constant as log c1. So log x minus log y equal to log c1. Log a minus log b is log a by b. So I am taking log x by y equal to log c1. And then similarly, on the other side, we'll be getting log x is equal to log z plus log c2. So log x minus log z is equal to log c2. Now log x minus log y is log x by z is equal to log c2. Now cancelling log on both sides, we'll be getting x by y equal to c1. Immediately I'll write this as u. And on the other side, similarly cancelling log, we'll be getting x by z is equal to c2. That is my v. So the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. That is x by y, x by z is equal to 0. Suppose if you consider the first first and second ratio for u and second and third ratio for v, you will be getting u is equal to x by y, v is equal to y by z. That is also correct. You can take any ratio and you have to find two solutions u and v to get the general solution f of u comma v equal to 0. In the next video, we are going to solve the method of multipliers for Lagrange linear equation. Thank you for your support. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.